Alrighty, folks. Back again with another video. I figured I had so much fun last week that um, I might um, do another, maybe one or two videos this weekend. And uh, I got a new, I, I found another game. And it's really fun. <laughs> I don't like video games, but this one's pretty fun. It's kind of like right up my alley. I like that Hovercraft takedown game that you saw me playing um, in the last video. Because it's like one of those old school arcade game games driving games which were always my favorite whenever I went to the arcade I didn't really like like uh, console games so much I liked driving games especially the ones you could sit in and so um, the game that we're gonna play here and actually I have two so this might be a semi long video uh, and they are both zombie highway this is the first version there's the Zombie Highway and Zombie Highway 2. And basically, as you can see, the idea is to... Oh! Uh, kind of like survive this little zombie apocalypse here. Boom! Gotcha, buddy. Oh! Gotcha, buddy. That's right! Oh, look at you! Look at you! And I, and I do have a passenger. So I'm the driver basically, but when you see what they do, they, they try to knock your car over. They try to they try to rock it because they want to eat your brains, you know, like Return of the Living Dead 2 or Return of the Living Dead 1. And there's different kinds of, Oh, you see what I did there? That wasn't good. Um, anyways, so they try to eat your brains and your um, objective is to survive, of course, as it would be with any Zombo Apocalypto. Mm. And you have these little obstacles that you can hit in just the right way. Boom! All over the highway here. But you can't crash into them like that. So that's the premise right there. Right, trying to have a good, good time here, so... Uh, we got, uh, round two cooking up. Let's go. All right, so the Zombie Highway 1, you can see, boom. Now, uh, as I was trying to explain, I do have a passenger, and he does have a gun. But, really, my true power lies within scraping zombies off the side, like, this. boom. Okay, so now I'm pretty good here. And if you, can, oh, if you can avoid them latching onto your car, which you can do by swerving out of the way, you can't do that on the second version, <clears throat> which I'll show you soon. Um, that's ideal, because you do run out of bullets. And, uh, you know, your car can only take so much punishment, as well can you and your passenger, because technically they are really trying to like reach in and you can see them what they're doing so anyways everybody's out to get you in other words just like everybody on facebook you know they want to tell you <coughs> why who you voted for is wrong well screw them you know what i'm saying you know why you voted for the person that you did so uh you know, left those people we got fat zombies, they ate many cheeseburgers and spaghetti. And uh kinds here. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't die. Whoa, we're getting really close. We're, we're wading through the apocalypse here, people. That's what's really going on. Look at what they're doing. Look at how these people latch on like little leeches. I mean, yeah, they're zombies, right? But they are leeches. You know, think about oh, Ooh, I got something unlocked. Double barrel shotgun. Have to continue. Let's give that a shot. Have to continue. We'll do one more of this, and then we'll switch to Zombie uh, Highway. This this app is called Zombie Highway. Zombie Highway Two. Yeah, get off me, buddy. Get off. Me. Zombie Highway. This is the old version. Which, by the way, if you download this game. 
get a notification pretty quick that there's a zombie highway 2, which they want because I guess they have more glorious in-app purchase that they want to um, entice you to to get. That's the nature of the app store. fun game. Oh, look at that. They finally flipped me over. You know, put on Do Not Disturb. I'm, I'm sure, like, a few people, you know, 0.5 people were watching my video saying, put on Do Not Disturb. Well, I figured it out. Okay, so now this, this is basically the same game, but upgraded. So I'm going to play Survive. So I've got a uh, Pistola and a Revolver. I've got a D-E-A-D -E SUV or dead SUV. So, here we go. Now, this one is a little bit different because it's in the urban wasteland, which gives it a more of a walking dead feel. A lot more swerving. There's also a lot more different types of zombies. And they're just ever so more aggressive. And you can, what's great is that you can always swipe up against this uh, barricade, but it does slow your vehicle down. And then you have the ability to rewind. So if you've earned some coins, you can pay to rewind. Now I only went 0.67, so why would I pay to rewind that? I didn't go very far. And that's a lot because I was explaining the premise of the game. You know, interesting stuff. Muy interesante. Boom, gotcha. Oh, look at that. See, you can't really run over the zombies in this version. You can pretty much just scrape them off. You can run them over. But, um, you can't really uh, avoid them. Whoa, I got really lucky there. And here's another that you can go in a tunnel and then your headlights turn on, which is cool. I haven't gotten up very far with this here. But this reminds me of, um, have you seen 28 Days Later? It reminds me of that scene a lot. And I love the part, and, and I, I may even have to rewatch that movie. I really do like that movie. It's one of my favorite zombie movies. I know that the zombies run, which I don't like. I don't like running zombies. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and pay to rewind that one. I don't like running zombies. Um, but 28 Days Later is my one exception to that. Because, um, I like the characters a lot in that movie, even though it has the stupid scarecrow guy. Uh, I really like, um, the, uh, the, the father. I can't remember what his name is. I really like him. Hated when he got turned into a zombie. Hated that. And uh, now here's something cool about this: you have nitrous oxide, so you can just you can like you know just rock it across the landscape. Here. This is oh yeah, and if you hit a zombie, it liquefies them. And if you have zombies attached to your car, it um, encourages them to evacuate. But they can rock the vehicle while you're giving nitrous. So do that because the uh, forces of a car that amount of pressure should kind of go by there. Oh look they got me. I'm going to go ahead and pay two because I don't think I've ever gotten that far before. How many do I have? I have zero. I can't pay for Zombie Highway 2. So we're going to have to go ahead and start again with the uh, old uh, Zombie Highway 2. Uh, Alright, so we'll be back with that.